<laughs> she likes to do that all the time in public. Yeah, because you're mine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Design you want. I try to, I stay away from like thick ones because you can't really wrap it around your hand, right? The one that I always get questions about is like the pink one that I got at Walmart. That one's really stretchy. Like, this one. I'm gonna pick a couple of ones, see which one's my favorite, and that's it. All right, just picking up some of the items I need for my DIY. I ended up going with this fabric because I love the pattern. And now it's time to go home. This is one of the ways that I get my fabrics. Of course, there are other places that I've purchased them from. I'll spread out my fabric on the floor and I'll go ahead and fold it to where I want to cut some of the fabric because this is way too big. I've recently discovered a way to avoid your headscarf from slipping. Besides using bobby pins, this is a DIY trick that you guys can do at home. You're going to go ahead and grab your glue gun and apply it on the edge of where you would be putting the scarf on your head where you don't want it to slip. I went ahead and did one line just for the demonstration of this video, but you can go ahead and do as many lines as you want just enough to prevent the slipping. It's a similar concept to the rubber that's added on to like hair scrunchies or the bottom of your shoes to prevent you from slipping, giving it some grip. So again, you can go ahead and add as many as you want and then go ahead and proceed to tying it on your head. If you guys want a tutorial on how to wrap these, I've actually already made one. So I'm gonna link it somewhere here. That is pretty much it for this video. Very sweet, easy, and short. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one.